The practice of tattooing goes back thousands of years, and its origins are shrouded in mystery. Some experts believe that the art of tattooing began in ancient Egypt and spread from there to other parts of the world. Others suggest that tattooing was a practice developed independently in different cultures across the globe. During the medieval period, tattooing was prevalent in many parts of the world, including China, Japan, India, and many countries in the Middle East. The origins of medieval tattooing, however, are difficult to trace, as little is known about the tattooing practices of specific civilizations during this time. One of the earliest references to tattooing in Europe comes from the Greek historian Herodotus, who described the Scythians, a nomadic people who lived in the region that is now Ukraine, Russia, and Kazakhstan. According to Herodotus, the Scythians embellished their bodies with tattoos, which they believed had magical properties. In other parts of the world, tattooing had different cultural and spiritual significance. In Japan, for example, tattoos were associated with criminality and were used to identify and mark individuals who had committed crimes. Similarly, in India, tattoos were often used to mark lower caste individuals and were seen as a form of social control. Despite the differences in cultural practices, however, tattooing was a universal form of self-expression and identity during the medieval period. As with other forms of art and culture, tattooing evolved and adapted to the changing historical and social contexts of the time. Tattoos during the medieval period held significant symbolic value and meaning. It was common to associate tattoos with a particular rank, social status, or occupation, and the designs were often reflective of the individual's personal beliefs or values. Tattooing during the medieval period was not just an art form, but a form of communication and expression. The meaning behind medieval tattoos was often deeply rooted in religion and spirituality. For example, the image of a cross was commonly tattooed on individuals who had completed a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, symbolizing their devotion to Christianity. Other religious symbols, such as the Virgin Mary or saints, were also popular choices for tattoos. Another popular motif during the medieval period was animals, which were often used to represent a particular quality or trait. For example, a lion was a symbol of bravery and strength, while a dove represented peace and purity. Other popular symbols included dragons, which typically represented power and ferocity, and serpents, which were associated with healing and renewal. The placement of tattoos on the body was also significant in medieval tattooing. For example, a tattoo on the forehead was often reserved for criminals or slaves, while a tattoo on the hand or arm was a symbol of a skilled tradesman or craftsperson. Overall, medieval tattoos were deeply rooted in symbolism and meaning, reflecting the individual's personal beliefs, values, and social status. While some of these meanings have changed with time, the enduring popularity of medieval-inspired tattoos is a testament to their continued relevance and significance in contemporary tattoo culture. The techniques and tools used in medieval tattooing were rudimentary but effective. The most common method involved puncturing the skin with a needle and then rubbing ink into the wound, leaving a permanent mark. Another technique involved cutting the skin and then applying ink. The tools used for medieval tattooing were simple and varied depending on the region and culture. Some cultures used sharpened animal bones or thorns as needles, while others used metal needles. Some tattooists used bamboo needles, which were believed to be less painful than metal needles. The ink was typically made from soot or charcoal mixed with water or animal fat. Medieval tattooists were often highly skilled and respected members of their communities. They had to be adept at creating intricate designs and capable of working quickly and accurately to minimize pain and scarring. The tattooing process was a ritualistic event that varied depending on the culture and region. In some societies, tattoos were seen as a way to mark an individual's status or achievements, while in others they were used for spiritual or religious purposes. Before beginning the tattooing process, 
The tattooist would often have a consultation with the client to discuss their design and placement preferences. The area to be tattooed was then cleaned and shaved, and the tattooist would begin the process of puncturing or cutting the skin. The tattooist would then apply the ink, often using a combination of needles and a brush, to create the desired design. The process could be painful and could take several hours or even days to complete. Medieval tattooing was not just a simple form of body art, but a cultural practice with deep religious and social significance. The act of tattooing was often part of rituals and ceremonies, and the designs themselves had specific meanings and symbolism. The practice of tattooing was commonplace in many societies during the Middle Ages, including the Celtic, Viking, and Maori cultures. Tattooing was often used as a rite of passage, marking important events in a person's life such as reaching adulthood or achieving a certain status within the community. The tattooing process was often an elaborate ritual, involving specific prayers, offerings, and incantations. The tattoos themselves were believed to have magical powers and were thought to offer protection and strength to the wearer. One of the most well-known medieval tattooing practices was the practice of pilgrimage tattoos. These tattoos were obtained by pilgrims traveling to holy sites as a way to commemorate their journey and as a talisman for protection on their voyage home. Medieval tattooing practices varied widely depending on the culture and society in which they were performed. Some cultures used hand poking or skin stitching techniques to create intricate designs, while others used traditional tattoo needles. Tattoos were often created using natural pigments, such as crushed berries or charcoal, which were mixed with water or animal fat to create a paste. The process of tattooing was often painful and could take several hours or even days to complete. The tattoo artist had to be skilled in the use of their tools and have a deep understanding of the cultural significance of the designs they were creating. Medieval tattooing rituals were often deeply tied to religion and spiritual beliefs. Many cultures believed that tattoos had the power to connect the wearer with the divine, offering protection and guidance on their journey through life. In some cultures, tattooing was seen as a form of penance or self-punishment. Monks, for example, would often tattoo themselves as a way to atone for their sins and show their devotion to God. These tattoos were often simple and symbolic, such as a cross or a religious figure. Overall, medieval tattooing was a complex and deeply ingrained cultural practice with significant social and symbolic significance. Today, these ancient designs continue to inspire and influence modern tattoo art, providing a rich source of inspiration and creativity for artists and enthusiasts alike. The cultural impact of medieval tattoos has been significant throughout history. These tattoos were not only a form of personal expression but also served as a means of communicating one's social status, religious beliefs, and cultural identity. They symbolized strength, power, and resilience, and were often worn by warriors and nobility as a sign of courage and honor. The legacy of medieval tattoos has endured into modern times, with many contemporary tattoo artists drawing inspiration from these intricate designs. The popularity of medieval-inspired tattoos speaks to our ongoing fascination with the past and our desire to connect with our cultural heritage. Medieval tattoos have also had a significant impact on the wider cultural landscape, influencing everything from fashion and art to literature and film. They have been depicted in countless works of literature and art, cementing their place in the collective imagination. Today, medieval tattoos continue to inspire people around the world, with many individuals embracing these designs as a means of expressing their own personal identity and cultural heritage. They have become a popular choice for those seeking to honor their ancestors and celebrate their cultural roots. Medieval tattoos also play an important role in the tattoo community, serving as a symbol of tradition and craftsmanship. Many artists today strive to incorporate elements of medieval tattooing into their work, blending the old with the new and paying homage to a rich artistic legacy.
In conclusion, medieval tattoos hold a significant place in history as a form of cultural expression and self-identity. Throughout this article, we have explored the origins, symbolism, techniques, cultural impact, and controversies surrounding medieval tattooing. From the intricate designs of the Celts to the religious significance of tattoos in the Byzantine Empire, we have gained insight into the diverse and complex world of medieval tattooing. We have also examined how these historical designs continue to inspire and influence modern tattoo culture, with contemporary artists incorporating elements of medieval tattooing into their work. However, it's important to recognize the cultural considerations and controversies surrounding the appropriation of these historical designs. While appreciating the beauty and significance of medieval tattoos, it's crucial to approach their use with respect and sensitivity to their cultural origins. Overall, medieval tattoos remain a valuable and enduring form of cultural expression, showcasing the ingenuity, creativity, and diversity of human history and art. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.